Stop. Don't take a step towards me. Stop. It's either you. Don't come. I'm, I'm gonna kill you, I swear to God. Or me. Don't come any closer, sorry, I'm gonna man. kill you. I can't stay here. I'm sorry. No! no. Safe now, Dr. Sanders. He's dead. And what about 96? He'll survive. Dr. Crowley says to put him to sleep and to erase this event. Let's see to that we get medical assistance for him as well. I'll dispose of the body. The experiment went as intended. Yes, well, um, tomorrow we start with the Delta 7 imprinting program. One more. Like whiskey? Not as much as you do. One for the lady. I'm Antero. Dharma. Dharma. It's an unusual name. I like unusual. It's Sanskrit. Do you know what it means? It means the ultimate law One more. of all things. Do you know what Antero stands for? Enlighten me. It's a variation of the Greek Andrew. It goes for man or warrior. Oh, that's right. I knew it. I wouldn't call you a warrior, though. To be honest, I wouldn't even call you a man.
You see, a real man doesn't do the things you do to women. I know all your sins. Yeah, right, lady. Something's wrong with you. You'll repay for all of it. And tarot. Good thing for you. I'm drunk, or I would never let you talk to me that way. He's perfect. You've got the green light. No need to rush. Just a moment, Dr. Crowley. It may be insufficient dosage. Double the dosage, Sally, and proceed with Delta-7. Oh, and of course, I don't want him to remember any of this. Stay still. a situation here, a subject is awake. Copy. Hey!
13 and 45 are missing. Search every corner and find them now. You didn't think I forgot about you there. Don't worry. You won't remember a thing tomorrow, I promise. I'll make it nice and easy for you. a baby that doesn't want to go to school. If you don't tell me what's wrong, how can I fix it? Just give me some time, Daniel. It's not about you. Please apply the new program to increase vulnerability to aggression. Enter. What in the hell was that this morning? We've got it under control. Two subjects wake up without our permission and try to escape. Is that what you call under control? Such things have to happen if you manipulate the dosage amount. But my men did their job. We can't let this happen anymore. How will this look in the reports? Agreed. Is that all? We have got to tighten the security. And I don't mean more beating of the subjects by that. My methods aren't any of your concern. And you didn't seem to mind it up until this moment. We're too close, Ash. That's why we should stick with the plan. You don't interfere with my duties, and I won't with yours. Don't we have a new employee coming in today? Yes, he's probably on his way here right now. I don't want to hear probably. I want to be sure. Now go observe his every move and report to Sally. It would be polite if you say please. Give Dr. Sanders daily reports on his progress. Please. Of course. You're dismissed now. with attraction imprints for 96. The charts are showing proper progress. Morning. Um, Daniel Rigardi. I 
you've just been assigned to this project? That's right. Welcome to Limey's, Mr. Regardi. Thank you. Daniel, am I right? My name is Ash Payne. I'm the head of security here. And this is Dr. Sally Sanders, one of the lead scientists at Lyme. Nice to meet you. It's an interesting facility you got here. Yes, it has a long history of being a woman's mental hospital before being turned into a full-time prison. And now we have it for research. We're here to make sure you know all the rules and that you receive a warm welcome. We have orders to take you straight to see Dr. Crowley. Follow me, Mr. Regardi. Is he the boss here? She, Dr. Dharma Crowley. Yes, she's the boss. We're here with Mr. Regardi. Please come in. Dr. Dharma Crowley. Daniel Rigardi. Congratulations on joining the project. Please, have a seat. It's, uh, it's a nice facility you got here. <laughs> You'll get used to it in a couple of days. I've read some articles about your medical research, Mr. Rigardi. Or, may I call you Daniel? Oh, yes, please. You may call me Dharma, then. You must have a lot of questions in regards to the project. Well, I, I haven't been informed about any of the details. F frankly, I, I haven't heard anything about what goes on here. We work on the highest security level here. I don't need to remind you about the full confidentiality contract you signed. Everything here is for your eyes only, not to be shared with anyone outside, and that's including your closest family. That goes without saying. Perfect. Now let's get to work so you can get some of your questions answered. Sally, please show Daniel around. Do you know what Limes means? It's Latin, right? It was the border defense of ancient Rome, marked the boundaries of the Roman Empire. Close. It's a line. A line between the civilized and the barbaric world. And is that what you're researching here? Correct. Uh, now let me show you. I want you to meet our current subjects. This is 13. Forty-five. The latest data, Dr. Sanders, and we're now entering phase two of Delta-7. Great. Ninety-six. 110, 97. How are the readings for food deprivation for 110? Uh, changed to 40% GDA and decreasing. And sleep? Gradually lowering the volume and increasing the noise. Proceed with the measures then. This is Limes. What's the purpose of these experiments again? Brainwashing. Is that a joke? Nowhere near. These are our current subjects. What are you doing to them? You didn't ask if these people chose to be part of the experiment or not. Did they? All of them lost their legal rights to make any decisions about themselves. What exactly is it that you're doing to them? 
We expose them to various imprints and mind programming to find the most effective way of changing their brain patterns, any past conditioning or personality cores. Why? <laughs> well, science has a lot of purpose. That's such a place then. This facility is huge and it gives us many test possibilities. Come, I'll show you to your desk and over time you'll better understand everything. Yes. You can count on me. Basic Rules and Principles to Re-Educate by Dr. Dharma Crowley. In order to change somebody's mind and actions, a couple of elements must occur. Months of studies revealed key ingredients to brainwashing. In 1974, a famous case occurred. Patty Hearst, a typical American teenager, was kidnapped and brainwashed. 57 days later, she was Tanya, a different person living in a different tunnel of reality. It took exactly 57 days to change Patty into Tanya. Where to, young lady? Anyway. Well, that's exactly where I'm going. Hop in. It takes one-tenth of that to re-educate a person. You seem exhausted. My name's Ash. With modern technology and knowledge, we can re-educate almost anybody into someone new. Someone who will obey, someone who will do what is told. You'll feel better, son. So tell me, what are you doing walking down that road all by yourself? The brain can be tuned like a TV to turn off any channel and to bring in a new channel. This is the major threat and the major promise of our time. Step number one, seizing and taking control of the body. The subject is reduced into infantile helplessness. Other people are deciding what's to be done to his or her body. It all starts with different forms of physical imprisonment. Most people are shy about being naked. That's why it's so important to take control over the feeling of shame. Just like in the army, where subjects are stripped down naked and made to march around a large building with other naked victims, while the fully clothed army personnel gives orders. You have to follow the rules or you're going to be punished. Open 96 a cell. What do you want? I didn't do anything. You hear me? Step number two. The subject must learn that in order to survive... Say it. It must open. Say it. Say it. Say it. If you decide to obey the rules, you will survive and be rewarded. If not, you will be punished. You can't do this to me. I'm gonna ask you for the last time. This is some kind of misunderstanding. Give him the stick. No, stop! My name is number 13, I don't obey the rules. Good. My life now belongs to someone else. Good. His name good. is number 13. Good, good, good. good. And obey the rules. But not convincing enough. Give him the stick. No! I did what you wanted! This is not fair! God, A system fair. of rewards and punishments is crucial to brainwashing. Just like with Pavlov's dog, People can be trained to react in a way we want them to, if they're being rewarded for good behavior and punished for bad. Step number three, introduce deprivation of the most basic needs, food, water, and sleep. <coughs> the easiest oh. method to re-educate is deprivation of food intake and amount of sleep needed. Is anyone there? It 
makes subjects more vulnerable to imprinting new tunnels of reality. At that phase, it's necessary to introduce step number four. How is it doing? He's going over the materials like he's hypnotized. That's good. But is he adapting well to the conditions? He's perfect. What is this? Daniel, next time please knock. What is step number four? Excuse me? At that phase, it's necessary to introduce step number four. Fear. Step number four, it's to introduce fear. You must be joking. Why? <laughs> this is, this is completely unacceptable. Human society as a whole is one big brainwashing machine. Built again. Semantic rules and archaic gender roles. have created a society of automated robots. How you are depends on how each circuit has been wired into your brain. We're doing nothing more than using those same rules that millions of people are being fed with every day. Except the difference is that we have a cause. Yeah? And what's the cause? Limeese. We're creating a boundary between us and the barbarians. Besides all these horrible things that you've been reading about, they're not real. We've imprinted them onto the subject's unconscious minds. You've seen all the equipment attached to them, right? It's only happening in there, in their minds. We can inject anything we want straight into the brain. The old imprinting methods are gone. We're not hurting them, Mr. Rigardi. We're simply changing the way they think, the way they feel and remember. You can change memories. You're part of an important government project now. If we were hurting people here, it would have never gotten the green light or the funding. We're doing the right thing here, Mr. Rigardi. Please take the rest of the day off. Go spend it with your lovely wife. Her name is Yael, right? We need to know everything about our new employees. I still haven't been told what it is I'm, that I'm supposed to, to do here. Tomorrow there'll be plenty of time to talk about your part in the project, but for the rest of today, rest. Go home. It's a lot of information to take in on the first day, and it's perfectly normal to feel overwhelmed. I suppose you're right. And the next time, please knock, Daniel. See you tomorrow, Mr. Avadi. I would time. He'll conform to our expectations. All of them eventually do. Still, let's keep him under observation for now. Keep him close. So, what are we doing tonight? Let's wake up all of the subjects and see how they interact with the new imprints. Understood.
Was it that tough of a day? I don't think I can talk about it. I understand. Excuse me. Can I get another one, please? It's getting late. You're right. As always. I'm gonna quit. Thank you. You're welcome. I think they're doing something really... wrong there. You've worked so hard for this job. Give it another day or two, then you can decide. I love you. You need to sleep. Do you still love me? Yes. Can we sleep together tonight? You know I still love you. This is insane. Is anyone there? They're all locked. Whoa. Who are you? Easy. I'm not armed. I tried them all just before you got here. Yeah, yeah, but who are you? Where am I? I'm asking myself the same questions. You can't remember anything either? How is that possible? Subject number 13 just woke up. What about the rest? They're all in different sections now. Let's guide them to the old canteen. Understood. Hello? Can anyone help me? Talk safely. I want out of here. Do you hear me? I'm trapped here too. Don't lie. I'm I'm I'll cut your throat. Do you hear me? If you don't let me out. Crush 
you like a bug. Okay, we can't risk anymore. Prepare to release the sleeping guy. We're ready. Okay, hold off for now. Let's just see how it evolves from here. Did I miss anything? No, you're just on time. Well, we've got a situation and I need a word with you, Dr. Crowley. Not now. I'm afraid it has to be now. I'm sure there's an exit somewhere. Continue the experiment. If anything happens, notify me immediately. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm fine. I'm uh, I know this is going to sound weird, but I have a strong feeling that we've met before. Your voice is familiar to me as well. So what? I just want to get the hell out of here. No, it just seems like the only thing I can piece together are these images in my head. And I don't connect to anything. Maybe you're just a crazy bitch. Then I must be crazy too. Because I'm in the same position. I know you. Whatever you think I did, I didn't do it for sure. Does anybody remember anything from what happened yesterday? No. Who cares? So what? So how can you recall my voice? The last thing I remember, I was in a bar. Maybe you were the waitress. No, I wasn't. Well, you looked like a nice little waitress to me. Hey, man, stop Or this. what? Enough! What do you Why care so much? Why have to resort to damn violence? Sounds like you're not saying something yourself. Are you insane? Put that anger into figuring a way out of here. Talking is useless. Let's go. Hey, stay close to me, okay? Thank you. I don't want anything to happen to you, okay? Look, he's right. It's better if we keep moving. I'm Ethan. Lily. Haley. I'm the... Isumu. I'm Anturo. It goes for wire. Listen, let's keep close to each other, okay? I think we've already walked this hallway. It all looks the same. These cameras, megaphones, they all seem to be new. What's that? Stop! He touched me! He touched me, I swear! You get away from us now! You have some kind of problem, don't you? 
I won't let you. I won't let any of you touch me like that. Do you hear me? Haley, God. Haley, listen. I promise he won't she has something hurt you. Behind her ear. What is your problem, man? She has something behind her ear, a, a tattoo of some kind, and, and so does he. L look for yourself if you don't believe what me. What are you talking about? He's a liar. I've never gotten a tattoo in my entire life. All right, all right. Haley, I'm gonna check, all right? Whoa, man. I'm just gonna check, all right? You have the knife. I've got nothing. See? You've got one, too. It says 13. Check, check mine, man. Just like cattle, doing what they want us to do. No, no. That would be way too easy. Something's wrong. Maybe if we shout? Hello? Help! 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 Oh, oh, oh. You want to make noise? Move! Good shot. Move! Move! Here. Move. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Oh. Oh. Stop it, number 13. Put the chair down. I know you. I don't know where from, but I know you. Hey, release us immediately. I would like to know, how do you all feel? I'm not telling you anything, you crazy bitch. What is this, some kind of sick game you're playing? Quiet. You know my voice? All of you do. And you know it very well. Why are you doing this? I didn't do anything wrong to you. I just want to go home, please. Whatever you do, though, we had enough. I understand what you're all going through, but the experiment isn't over yet. Experiment? Experiment? You must think this is funny. I didn't sign up for any of this. You're holding me and all of us against our will. Enough with all the bantering. Now we want to ask you some questions. I'm not telling you anything until you let us out of here first. You're in big trouble, number 13. Release the gas. Everybody, I'm coming here now. What are we gonna do? Don't aim for this.
I say, that was bitterly disappointing, if you ask me. Nobody asked you for your damn opinion. So clean this mess up. Please. Are you okay? Yes. Do we have any band-aids? I don't... Do you have any painkillers though? Any. I've been having those headaches again and... Yes, they're here somewhere. How are the readings for 96? They're stable. Great. Let's get 13 and 45 prepared. They have a performance later tonight. Jesus, you scared me. Everything okay, Mr. Rigardi? Yes, thank you. Didn't mean to sneak up and startle you like that. So how's your work going today? Find anything interesting? Well, I can't seem to find some of the files. It looks like there might be some documentation missing. Things have a tendency of disappearing around here. I'm not being told everything that's going on here. So my question would be, why? Take a walk with me, Daniel.
I'm not playing any more games. I'm tired of this. Dr. Crowley wants to show you something. Good. Because I have some questions myself that I'd like to ask her. Thank you. After you. This is subject number 13. Can you see us? Don't worry, it's one-way glass. I need to get out! Forty-five is almost here. Excellent. Dr. Crowley, we updated the document. Oh, I'll uh, leave the files on my office desk. I'll put them in the safe later. I need to get out! We haven't been fully honest with you, Daniel. You finally get to see what it is we do here. Oh, thank God. Can you untie me, please? Who are you? I'm so thirsty. I need to drink something. Somebody's watching us. If you just untied one hand, and I'll do the rest. Please. I'm being held here against my will! My name is Isabu. No, just my right hand. Please, and I'll never bother you again. But there's a reason that you're all tied up, isn't there? I don't know. Listen, little girl. I'm begging you, please. Just How do I know you're not gonna hurt me if I help you? I'm not your enemy. They are. And I'm not going to hurt you, please. Of course not, you can't move. Number 45. This is your superior. Kill him. What? Relax, Daniel, it's only an experiment. Kill Osama 45. Don't do it. You can't you wait. Go to jail for the next 50 years. You're locked in here just like me. You'll have nightmares to the end of your life. You remember my face. You don't have to listen to them. Stop screaming. I can't, I can't think. You have to snap out of it. God. You can't kill that man. How are you going to live after killing me? We can help each other. If you just untied one hand. I'm sorry. You don't have to listen to them. They'll let me go if I kill you. Well, never believe them, they're all liars. <laughs> Step back! I'm begging you, please. Don't do it. Stop it. Remain calm, Daniel. Don't do it. I'm begging you. No. Don't do it. No. Stop it. Stop it.
orders. Now let me go. Open the gates! to do this for your own safety. Only if you stay calm. See? I'm a man of my words. You are in shock and you failed. Numbers 96, 97, and 110. We are the authorities. Now look at number 110. His real name is Antero Leary. Play recordings from March 18th. Do you remember where you were on March 18th, Mr. Rigardi? Dead. 
wasn't the only one that he hurt. Knowing what you know now, would you stop that fight to let him live? I don't know that footage was even real. You know it is. Why would we make any of this up? I can't be here anymore. Guide these two to the exit door. I did this to protect you. I did this for us. Just hand me over the knife, Ethan. What? You don't trust me? He was gonna kill you, Lily. I'm just afraid, okay? Just give me the knife. Now, do you believe me? It's not about you, okay? It is about this whole place. I just want to get out as quickly as possible. I can't do this alone. Okay. We have to stay next to each other. And we have to be strong. I need to be sure I can count on you. Let's get out of here before they change their minds. Is everything all right? Is everything okay, Mr. Regard? Yes. Sorry, I uh, just need to get some rest. Thirteen. 
He's a moo. Healy Dagger. And Tara Leary. I didn't do anything. In here. You're early. What's wrong? The day I proposed to you. You still remember it? How could I forget? What was the name of that lake again? Redfish Lake. What car did we take to get there? Well, it was only three years ago, you must remember. Uh, I don't know. Chrysler. Same car as we have right now. How could that be? You see, I checked the registration. This car was bought two years ago. Who the hell are Daniel. you? Stop! What the hell is going on here? You're not safe here. They're watching us all the time. What? I do love you, Daniel. Just leave me alone, okay? Just get out of here! I'm your wife, Daniel. Now! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on here? It's time to end this experiment. You're all gonna pay for this. I'm Just leave me alone, you sick bastard! Where are you, you psycho? Come here!
You know, you've always been one of my favorites, Daniel. I've already called the police. No, you didn't. I've always considered you a very successful experiment, Daniel. Not an experiment. Everything you remember, I've created. I've imprinted everything. It's not possible. Why do you think you wake up every morning with a headache? You were brainwashed. You had no right! Don't go all crazy on me now. I have a package for Ethan Gabriel. Yeah, that's me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Who was it, honey? It was just a delivery. Steal from me, just take it what away. What is this? Hey, please go away up there. You go away. You... Something that happened long ago. Leave me alone, please, please. Is this for go real? Away. Lily? Turn it off. How does he know this address? L <laughs> Whoa. That, that, that is impossible. Lily. Don't come close. Lily. I couldn't have done any of that. Please, I, I swear, I don't know how to explain this. You said you don't remember your past. Is that what you meant, you sick pig? Lily, I'm someone who loves you. How could I have done that? Please, I swear. Who the hell are you? I killed for you. I saved your life, Lily. What are you gonna do? You gonna run away from me because of something I can't remember? I'm gonna call the police, Ethan. Lily, don't do that. <laughs> Lily, come here, <laughs> Lily! data on the subjects. Impressive how the um, strong attraction imprint is on this gamma level. Let's proceed with the observation. Thank you. 
Dr. May, I didn't want to interrupt, especially on your first day, but there are interesting things happening with subjects 96 and 97. I think you would be interested in how the experiments are proceeding. 